color blast time in Owensboro. And Amanda Owen, executive director of Puzzle Pieces, is here with Nick Aller, Independence Bank market president for Davis County. You're, oh, you're wearing your white, so you're ready to roll tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Now, talk about the race itself. And how many years, 10? This is our 10th year. It's crazy, yes. Um, so the one thing that I love about the color blast is there's more organizations that come together just in more than puzzle pieces. So it's a collaborative fundraiser. So it's just a fun way to get everybody together dressed in white and we throw up a bunch of colors to represent the, dis the different disabilities to come together as one. What fun. And Nick, the weather's going to be good according to Ron Rhodes tomorrow. <laughs> That's exactly right. We love, we love good weather when we have a race. <laughs> but let's uh, talk about Independence Bank's involvement with this race and why it's so important. Yeah, so it's just so important to us. Of course, you know, we talk about impact and so many different organizations that we participate with. And, you know, when we have the opportunity to partner with Puzzle Pieces and be able to make an impact in our community that just affects so many, it's just so important to us just to be able to give back and also support such a great organization. And Amanda just does a, a fantastic job of leading such a great group, too. We all love our Amanda. We, yeah. So much, yes, so right. much. Yes. Uh, Amanda, who else is uh, going to be benefiting from this race? So it's Puzzle Pieces, Dream Riders of Kentucky, GRASA, which is Green River Area Dance Syndrome Association. Good job. Yes. And um, Team Carly. Okay. Now, can we still sign up? Absolutely. So you can sign up the leading up to the day on March the 18th. Um, so March 19th is the actual event. Um, so yeah, the, you can sign up through runsignup.com and you can follow us on our social media page and there's links in there to, but yes, it's $25 and $15 for kids. And it's not bad at all. Now, Nick, do you have to be a runner? Can we walk this race? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That's what I love about the Color Blast Run is that, you know, you do not have to be a runner. We see so many different folks. I feel show better up. already. <laughs> <laughs> so many folks show up and we have walkers, we have runners, we have folks that are bringing strollers in. So, you know, it's just a wonderful day for our community and just so many people come out and just support just a great cause for sure. Now, uh, when we come, where are we coming to? Where do we start? So we're starting at Sports Center, and um, they're in Owensboro, Kentucky. So it's on Hickman Avenue. So I always say the Sports Center. So we start and finish there with all of the color spots along the way. And so, we, okay, you're wa you're walking, you're running, you're whatever, and somebody's just gonna pan you. Oh with yes, like, I love being the <laughs> color. Yes. Oh, are you one of the color people? Are you Nick too? Yes. Oh, that is hilarious. That's the best part. <laughs> <laughs> and you want people to wear white. Yes, so it really and shows people up. dress up, so that's really fun. They come in costumes, and they have like the white wigs and the white tutu. Um, but yeah, our shirt that we uh, that we have actually for Color Blast um, is a long sleeve white shirt, um, and it already looks like it's splashed a little bit with color as well. So yeah, and then you come along al along the race, and we'll color you up. Oh, and that's so really just fun. the way that we celebrate disability awareness. It's so important to, to have a fun event that also highlights some really serious services that need to continue. And the pandemic's hurt. All of you. I mean, it's been so challenging for not just businesses, but for certainly for nonprofits because fundraisers are your thing. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And I think that what's, what, what, what makes it special is that there's more of us that are coming together for a community to support not just one nonprofit, but it's an event that you can support multiple of the nonprofit. Well, because it, it, it improves the community, and that's what, you know, Independence Bank is saying here. Uh, that, that's exactly right. You know, it's we're um, nearly a, a $3.3 billion company, and Davis County makes up about a billion dollars of that, and we just contribute that to uh, you know our communication that we have and our, our commitment to our, our community. And so we're just so grateful, you know, to be able to partner with organizations like Amanda and all the other ones that's going to be involved as well. And so it's just our way of giving back and just saying thank you to the community. Sounds like fun. Sign up and get just sprayed with color, all for a good cause. Thank you both. Thank all right, you. thank you.